as of February 4th, 2024, there are currently 46 volcanoes which are erupting around the planet. One of these 46 which are actively spewing lava and ash can be found in Italy where it has been near continuously erupting at a low rate for at least the last 2300 years. There, Mount Stromboli produces an explosion about once every 5 to 15 minutes which emits small quantities of ash and hurls bombs of lava into the air. This type of eruption is known as a Strombolian eruption. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano related news stories. In Indonesia, one of the nation's historically deadliest volcanoes known as Awu is showing signs that an intrusion of magma might be currently intruding to fairly shallow depths. Elsewhere, on the island of Flores in Indonesia, the progress of an advancing lava flow ceased, with eruptive activity becoming weaker in the short term. And, in what is this week's top story, in New Zealand, the temperature of the Ruapeo volcano's main highly acidic crater lake has once again begun to increase, meaning a heating cycle is underway. While factors such as rainfall and the weather can affect Ruapeo's crater lake temperature, its temperature is generally a good indication of the strength of volcanic unrest the overall volcano is experiencing. Thus, the higher of a temperature this lake has, the higher of a chance Ruapeu has of producing a volcanic eruption. Whereas on November 14th of 2023, this acidic lake had a temperature of only 13.3 degrees Celsius, by February 2nd of 2024, this figure increased to 29 degrees Celsius. While this is quite an increase, we can partially attribute the weather for this change, as February is the region's hottest month representing the peak of summer. Yet, there is clearly a volcanic component involved, as if this temperature change was to have been purely caused by regional temperatures, then it would have been coldest between June and August. Yet, the heating cycle began in mid-October, meaning there truly is an increased amount of energy being sent into the volcano's hydrothermal system, which Geonet states has increased from 80 to 280 megawatts. This has occurred alongside a slight increase in the rate of earthquakes, notably a between 3 and 8 kilometers depth. While the aforementioned activity could all technically be caused by an intrusion of shallow magma, no other readings currently support such an assertion. Instead, the depth of quake suggests an increased amount of energy and temperatures in Ruapeo's hydrothermal system and do not suggest the presence of shallow magma. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, several aspects of the ongoing eruption of the Luatobi volcano has changed. For one, the basaltic andesite lava flow that was slowly advancing towards several dozen homes was successfully redirected into a 2 meter deep large pit in the ground, which led to a deeper channel that would lead it harmlessly towards the ocean and away from structures. Yet, just as we were about to see if the longer channel would succeed, the massive lava flow stopped advancing. Instead of being sent several kilometers down slope, lava is now piling up in the shape of a dome at the summit of the Laki Laki Cone. This has caused the type of eruption to change from simple Volcanian explosions to Merapi-type Volcanian explosions, aka explosions and pyroclastic flows associated with the partial collapse of a lava dome. Although this dome could eventually act like a large plug, overall eruptive activity seems to have temporarily decreased, leading Luatobi Laki Laki's alert level to be lowered from red to orange. Meanwhile, in the Sengihe Islands, there is concerning activity ongoing in a volcano known as Mount Awu. Specifically, there is evidence which now suggests that magma has ascended to only one kilometer beneath its summit. Inflation associated with this upward movement has been seemingly ongoing at a slow rate since June of last year. In the last week, the number of volcanic earthquakes rose to an elevated level, and although the seismicity has somewhat stabilized, it occurred alongside a volcanic tremor. In this case, I interpret the 91 second long tremor to have been generated by the resonating of liquids in its hydrothermal system, or magma. Yet, the increased activity and thus increased risk of an eruption has not yet resulted in a Wu's alert level being raised quite yet, having not yet risen to the level which would warrant this. However, the alert level of Awu is still yellow and a 3 km exclusion zone around Awu's summit crater is still in place. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing varying degrees of unrest which are not currently erupting as of February 4th of 2024. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.